Ni hao, wo de pang yomen. Hello, my friends. I'm Adam. This is Language Arts with Adam. And today we're continuing on with this Mandarin learning adventure. I've been away for a few days here, but I have a huge presentation coming up next week for my work. And so I've been really busy preparing that. And, you know, life happens. But even then, you know, I'm still doing my best to keep up with my Anki flashcards and keep studying and just keep on going because it's important. A little bit every day. Is as much as you can do, right? So today, a nice and easy one. We finished last time in the blacksmith shop, and we were talking about doors and justice and upright and all this kind of stuff. Today, uh, we're moving on to one of the most used characters and words uh, in probably any language in the world, uh, which is to be. And so we're going to dive right into it here. So the first one, uh, number 30, we have Lila Kuma, and Lila Kuma is watering a sunflower and asks, is this shit upright yet? And this is something, you know, I notice whenever I water my plants, sometimes if I don't water them for a while, they go, Phew! they kind of droop down a bit, right? So here, I kind of imagine that. And so Lila Kuma is trying to get this, this stupid sunflower to kind of pop up here. And the the keywords to remember here so for the character because this is I, I would say it's not the easiest character it's a little bit complex in terms of how many strokes are in it and all that but you see at the top there we have sun and on the bottom we have another way of writing uh the word upright that we learned last time right so this is a very very uh the thing that is good about learning characters in this way is that we can take these different things that we've learned before and apply them to to this one. It makes it a little bit easier. Even then, it's a big character. You know, for me, for starting out and trying to remember these, it's pretty big. So other than that, we have the meaning, which is to be or is. And then the pronunciation, of course, I use the word shit here and you see him saying sh. And because it's uh, lilakuma, we know it's the fourth tone, that's sh. And again, this is very, very important. You'll see this all the time, so make sure you remember this one. And then onto the next one, which is also pretty common, but maybe not so much, uh, is hand. But the sentence here, number 31, is the Mughal standing on the lamppost is so impressed with the sunflower show that she gives him a hand, but her hand only has three fingers, so it's pretty quiet. Uh, other people have seen her with only two fingers. What a freak. <laughs> so you see here, I'm trying to use this, you know, Moogles only have three fingers, and I, I thought that'd be a great way to remember this because it's a hand, but it only has three horizontal strokes in it. Uh, so a hand with three fingers helps us remember that, but then uh, some other people saw her with only two fingers because there's a variation of this, just like there was a variation of upright from before. So you can see this variation of Zheng, upright, is uh, it, it doesn't have the just the line and then the horizontal stroke on it. Instead, this time it's this kind of curvy thing at the bottom there. So you just need to get used to the fact that a lot of characters, when they're combined with other characters, they have a different kind of look to them, uh, which we've seen a few times before. And uh, here, show, I use like sunflower show to remember the... Uh, the word or the pronunciation rather of it and because it's a Mughal we know it's the third tone so it's show and then of course give someone a hand talking about hands and fingers here this helps us remember that it's about a hand anyways so those are very important ones especially number 30 there I hope you were able to follow along with this this is super easy for me to remember because you know these situations are really sticking out in my head and it's helping a lot so I hope this is something that's useful. Please let me know down in the comments. Uh, if you're following along, I'd love to have some people join me on this adventure so we can kind of do this together. And uh, I'll at some point also be practicing a lot of this as well. So you guys can come along and practice together with me. Anyways, once again, I'm Adam. This is Language Arts with Adam. And remember, learn smarter, not harder. Bye bye.